Thomas Newsom was a lawyer. He was a journalist, active in his church, and very active in the community. And his home is still a center in the community of Newport News, a place for people to come and celebrate history and culture. I want to introduce you to Donna Davis. She's the curator here at the Newsom House Museum and Cultural Center. Thanks for having us here today. Well, thanks for being here. I'm very happy to have you. This is a very special place. It's a beautiful home, but it's so much more than that. Yes, it is. It is, as you say, a hub of the community. It was back in the day when Mr. Newsom lived here, and it still is as we are celebrating Black History Month this month, but we celebrate it all year long, so we're very busy. Mm -hmm. And Mr. Newsom and his family represented the black middle class, something new for the time. Tell me how important it is for people to learn about life for African Americans, for all Americans at that time. Well, you know, most of the things that you hear about African Americans back in those days is that they were enslaved and they were oppressed and those type of issues. But Mr. Newsom certainly represented, uh, he was a, a, a hero of the community because he represented those who were rising above the institution of slavery, um, even though it had ended by the time he was born. He rose above and became a successful person and they were very there were very many people in the community who were very successful at that time. Mm -hmm. um, he was an, a lawyer as you said but there were very many business people in the community and he represented that genre of the community. This house is a wonderful combination of the permanent exhibits, you really get the feeling, you feel like the Newsoms could come home at any moment in some of these rooms, but you've also got some traveling exhibits that come through as well. That's true. We like to uh, show different facets of the uh, black history. Um, and so in this room, this is our permanent exhibit on Mr. Newsom and his family. But in other rooms, as you stated, we do have exhibits that we get from local uh, entities and also from throughout the state and sometimes even nationally. We try to do something every month to celebrate the African American culture. Uh, we have exhibits uh, that change uh, periodically throughout the year. We have special events uh, and we also open our house up for people to have events here that would celebrate uh, life in the community. So if you would like to learn more about Thomas Newsom or take part in some of the wonderful programs that are happening here at the Newsom House, not just during Black History Month, but any time of the year, make sure you visit and tell them the Hampton Roadshow sent you. All right. It was a pleasure talking to Donna Davis about the Newsom House, and she was joking, but she said sometimes she'd like to close during February just to get people to come right. visit the house right. the other times of the year mm -hmm. because there's just so much there. It's in the east end of Newport News mm -hmm. and um, still you know, represents that hub of the community that it did you know, many, many years ago. So very interesting. Our thanks to Donna. Yeah.